What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I'm going to show you a Vegas Pro 19 tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to import motion tracking data from Mocha Pro, which then you'll be able to apply towards pictures or text. I'm going to drag and drop a clip into Vegas right here. It's a drone shot I took of a building and I'm going to be tracking this side right here, this wall. It's going to be a perspective change and a planar track. And I'm going to do it in Mocha. Now I'm not a Mocha expert, so I'm just going to show you what I know and how it works. So if we load up Mocha Pro, I'm going to go to File, go to New Project, and I'm going to find my clip. Once I've found and selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to import it into Mocha. When we play it, it's just looking like our video right here, and what we're going to do is find a good frame that we want to actually start our track. So I like right here kind of a straight on shot. Now what you'll want to do is go up to the top and create a spline layer, and we're going to draw right around this specific window set right here. This is going to be a lot of information that Mocha can use to make a really good track. So once you're done making your shape, right click. And next, make sure perspective is enabled. By default it is not, and that's messed me up a few times, but you have to make sure it is enabled. After that we can track it both left and right. So I'm going to track forward. Then I'm going to go back to the timeline where I started my track. And I'm going to track backwards. Once it's done, we can play it through and see how our track looks. And it looks spot on perfect. So I'm going to go back to the original spot because I liked that frame that I chose. And next, we want to go up to the very top and we want to select this button that says Show Planar Surface. Once we select that, we can see this blue square appeared. That is our four corners that we're going to be importing into Vegas. So these are very important. So if we hold Shift and press Plus, we can zoom in. And then I'm going to move these corners where I want them. Now just a heads up, whatever aspect ratio you make this square, that may distort your logo or text when you import it and try to apply text or logo to this tracking data. So you'll have to adjust that a little bit, which I'm going to show you as well. So I'm going to choose a very contrasty point so I can get the most accurate track. And so right here around this lighter and darker part of these windows is where I'm going to put my corners. Once I've put them there, it automatically applies to the rest of the clip. So let's move it back and forth and see what it looks like. And it looks like it's going to stay exactly where I want it to. Awesome. Let's go up to View, do Zoom to Fit, and View, Zoom 100. And now we're back to our original look. If you have the Essentials Window View enabled, then you're going to see this options right over here to the left. We have Export Tracking Data and Export Shape Data. For this video, I'm going to do Export Tracking Data. But for the next video, I'm going to show you the Export Shape Data. So Export Tracking Data, we select it. If we click the drop down, we see a lot of options right here. There are only four options that work inside Vegas when you import it. I've exported all of these to test it, which took a long time. And I found out that the four that work are After Effects CC Power Pin, this top After Effects Corner Pin, not the one that's renamed the same thing under it, it's the top one, Boris Effects Corner Pin, and then the one at the bottom here, Silhouette Corner Pin. All of them export the tracking data exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. I like doing the Silhouette one, so I'm going to select that, hit Save. Choose where you want to save this tracking data, so I'm going to go Building Data right here in this folder, hit Save. And then go up to Vegas. Once it's open, make sure you load the exact same clip, select it, and then press Alt and M on your keyboard. And that brings up the Motion Tracking Panel. From here, if we go to the drop down to the right, we select that and we go Import from Mocha. Navigate to the folder that has your data, and I have building data right here. I'm going to double click it, and it imports it automatically. So now I'm going to scrub through and see what it looks like. And we can see our four corners are pinned exactly where Mocha pinned them. So that looks good right there for sure. Next, let's use this to our advantage and apply this data to a picture. I'm going to go ahead and put a really awesome picture right here. It's a Scrapyard Films logo that I made. And you want to make sure you drag and extend your clip to the entire length of the track that you want. So I expanded this picture to the length of the building clip. Make sure you select your building, and then you'll see the motion tracking mask light up. From here, we can do two options. We can click this button and drag this onto our clip, and it shows us what options we have, which is Add Picture and Picture Effects. Or we can select this drop down, and whatever clip above or below is touching or overlapping the same time as this building clip that's been tracked, it will show up on this little list right here. So I have my SYF logo, add picture and picture effects. And now it has applied it to this track. So let's see what it looks like. We could see as the track goes on, that rectangle, the corners that I pinned, stretch out and this logo is stretching with it. So we don't want that. So the easiest way to fix that is to go over to your pan and crop tool on the picture that you've applied this to. Inside here, under our source options, we have maintain aspect ratio and stretch to fill frame. Switch maintain aspect ratio to no, 
Make sure size about center is enabled and then make sure lock aspect ratio is disabled. After that, we can drag either one the left or right edge to the left or right and it will affect our crop right here. And I'm gonna stretch it to make it look normal. So that looks good to me right there. And now if we go back to our beginning and play it. We can see it is collapsed and compressed in right here, which is how it should be. And as we play it, it looks more normal as the film goes on. Now if we wanted to add this to text, we can do that as well. So I'm going to go over to my media generator and then drag the default text on here. I'm going to shrink it to fit the length of my tracked clip. I'm going to mute my logo layer. I'm going to select my building layer again. So in my motion tracking panel, these options light up. And I'm going to click motion track transfer, click and drag that onto my text. And here we have two options. We can add picture picture just like we did on our logo. Or we can select location, which doesn't apply any of the rotation, perspective, scale, or any of that information to this text. It's only going to apply the position information. So if you're tracking to an object and you don't care about turning left and right, then you can use this one. But I want this to stay in perspective with this planar track. So I'm going to hit add picture to picture effects. And now we see as we play it, the text is tracked. But like the picture, it is stretching as this corner stretch right here. So we can fix that the exact same way. We can go to our pan and crop, make sure lock aspect ratio is disabled, make sure size about center is enabled, change maintained aspect ratio to no, and then drag the left or right edges to shrink or stretch it. Now we're going to shrink it to right about there. That looks good to me. So now if we play it, we can see it is attached and looking good. And that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there to the bottom right, and that'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all my legendary scrappers at the top, LMC and Hardy Cash. You can find links to their channels and social media in the description below. And thanks to all my super scrappers there in the middle and my awesome scrappers at the bottom.